Hi there, I'm Nathan. I made a video talking about the Disney College Program. Unfortunately for me, there are some parts of the college program I didn't talk about, either because I had no personal experience with them, they didn't exist as of my program's end date, or I just couldn't find a good way to fit it into the script. This video fixes that. Because I want your view. Because I want to make sure that you have a complete picture of the Disney College program before you decide if it's right for you or not. Now, I get it. You're a busy college student and don't have the time to spend another 30 minutes watching some guy ramble. So I'm going to be focusing on delivering this information as quickly and precisely as possible to make sure that this video is short, concise, and straight to the point. And with that introduction out of the way, let's go. First, a quick college programs update. Flamingo Crossings Village has doubled. My program had me in Flamingo Crossings Village East, but the second set of program housing, Flamingo Crossings Village West, opened in January. There's no real difference between the two except for like a block's distance, and now the buses have an additional stop on their routes. Also, they finally added a bus route to Disney Springs, it only took them about six months. That's all for updates, now a minor correction to my last video. In my last video, I said this. There's no way to request a transfer into a different location, and that was about 90% accurate. You can get transferred to different locations, but those transfers are determined most entirely by Disney. As an example, the Food and Wine Festival at Epcot requires a huge cast member presence, just because of all the different food booths. However, when Food and Wine ended, many of the college program participants wouldn't be needed for the much smaller Festival of the Holidays and as a result, got transferred to different locations throughout Disney World. Since these transfers are usually a result of balancing cast member numbers in different locations, you don't really have a say as to where you'll get transferred to. Now, there is one way to transfer that's under your control, but this also comes with its own challenge. Occasionally, Disney will send out information to college program participants about the option to transfer into more specialized roles. Now, these are pretty highly desirable, so each one also comes with its own application process. However, the biggest challenge with them is that if you decide to apply and get accepted, you have to be willing to extend your program to a full year, not just however many months you're there. The most popular example of this is the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser, a pretty cool hotel with the world's worst marketing. Punch it. <laughs> Outside of the more obvious cast members. The majority of the crew staff is made up of college program participants, and Disney selects these participants annually. Now, it might seem like roles like this are hard to get into, but it can be done. For some reason, I know two participants who are currently working the Star Cruiser as the second half of their program. Now, a quick aside. While it's not necessarily transferring, Cast members working in locations like food and beverage, merchandise, and custodial can pick up or trade shifts at different locations throughout Walt Disney World. So if you're a cast member working, say, merchandise at the Polynesian, you can pick up or trade merchandise shifts with other locations and cast members no matter where in the park they are. It isn't necessarily a full-on transfer, but it does help to offer you a bit of a break from your usual location. Now, one of the biggest questions I got from my first video about the college program was about college itself and being able to balance your school work with your work life. Now, I personally can't answer this, as during my college program, I took it as a gap semester. And this is typically what I recommend. This makes it a lot easier since it's much less of a challenge to balance your coursework with your work life. However, while I don't have any personal experience with balancing college and Disney, I know someone who did. Meet Kenny, Floridian, college student, and native Batuian who worked at Food and Beverage at Hollywood Studios during his college program. He was also a full-time student. Since he was a full-time college student during his program, I asked him what it was like. He said that while it is a challenge, it can be done. His advice? Studies first, and working at Disney is your vacation. Thanks, Kenny. Now, finally, I wanted to touch on an interesting note. One comment I got on my first video said the following. Were you able to watch other YouTube videos with negative comments about the program before you went? If yes, why did you still decide to go, and how accurate were the negative stuff posted in those videos? The answer is, I didn't. It can be easy to see the college program as some fantastic, magical, wonderful program that no college student should ever miss, 
and a lot of videos on YouTube tend to reflect that. Either that or it's a 20 minute long rant about how they decided to self-term and will never go back to the college program ever again. While I didn't want my video to fall into the category of guy rants about how Disney sucks for two and a half hours, I also didn't want to portray the college program as some perfect, untouchable thing. As one CP I met during my program said, it's just another job. Is it a good job? Eh, maybe. Is it a fun job? Sometimes. But at the end of the day, it's just one college program among many. And since not a lot of people know about the other programs, I figured I might as well introduce you to some. Now, links to all the different programs I talk about will be in the video description, so check down there if you want to learn more information about any of them. I already mentioned Disney Professional Internships in my last video, but other theme parks offer internships as well. Universal Studios offers internships during the spring, summer, and fall for their creative studio, as well as their parks in California and Florida. Now, these internships are for students who are currently in college, so if you've just graduated, you can't really apply. Additionally, these internships favor students that live in-state. However, the website does mention that housing assistance can be provided for out-of-state college students. Finally, these internships open about three to four months before the upcoming semester, and will change from semester to semester. So it's a good idea to keep an eye on the website to see what internships are available and if any of them interest you. For those students looking to really dive into the theme park industry, Cedar Fair and Bowling Green State University partnered together to create a full degree program complete with classes, housing, and paid placements in the Cedar Fair parks. Now, this is a two-year college program, so I wouldn't recommend it to people that aren't genuinely interested in learning about theme parks. But if that's something you're interested in, this sounds like a fantastic opportunity. Cedar Fair also offers internships at their different parks, but since their parks are spread across the United States and Canada, no two parks offer the same experiences or internships, so you'll have to look for yourself to see what each park has. Lastly, if you're wanting a college program experience that isn't the Disney college program, there are a few alternatives. For those wanting to spend their spring or fall in Orlando, Legoland Florida offers a 14-week guest experience internship. Their website mentions working an average of 20 hours a week, so you already know it's better than the Disney college program. You'd be working in either admissions, food and beverage, retail, or hotels, so you wouldn't be dealing as much with the attractions side of the parks. However, the course does come with 28 hours of professional development, which is going to be beneficial if you want to use this as a way to help build your career. There are some other smaller benefits to the program, but those are all listed on the website, so you can look for yourself if you want to know more. For those of you just wanting a summer internship, Silver Dollar City in Branson, Missouri offers their summer university program. Eh. Like the Disney College program, you'll spend a decent amount of time working in attraction, food and beverage, merchandise, etc, etc. But a significant part of their program also takes you on the operations side of things, so you get a better understanding of how their parts work. I'd love to tell you more about it, but since I won't be starting my program until the end of May, I'd much rather wait until after my program is finished before I tell you about it. The Disney College program might be a cool experience, but there are some other neat ones out there. All it took for me to find most of these was a quick Google search, and I know for a fact there are tons of others that I probably didn't even think to look for. While they may not have Disney in the name, a lot of these are pretty solid programs. And at the end of the day, while it might not have the Disney magic attached to it, it'll still help to provide you with a magical experience. Good grief, that was a really cheesy way to end that segment. Ugh, ah. Thanks again for watching. Between this and my original video talking about the Disney College program, I think I've said all that I have to say about it. So don't expect another video unless I decide to do the college program again in the future. Additionally, somebody managed to find my Instagram, which is both impressive but also terrifying because I have never once mentioned it on this channel. If you do want to follow it, just uh... How do we do? We keep it under 10 minutes? Yeah? Okay, cool.